Hi guys and welcome back to Cat Talks, the place where I talk, cat, all about books and writing. And today I'm going to share with you the books I got from the library. Uh, so yesterday I went to the library to pick up a couple of books. Uh, first of all, I picked up the next two books in the Terry Pratchett Discworld series, which as you guys will know, was one of my 2020 reading goals. And I picked up Maud and Sorcery. So at first, when I saw this cover online, I thought that I was going to hate it because, I mean, it's very simple. So I have some of the very retro, very chaosy yellow covers. I've always known these. These are the ones I kind of grew up with. And I love them. They're very weird, but I really adore them. And they give you a feel for the chaosy nature of the story. But these covers that the library has, these hardbacks, are freaking gorgeous. I mean, look at this cover. And this one. They're still a little chaotic, but they've got that kind of simplicity uh, that looks really good in this format. They also, on the covers, on their spines, have which collection they're in. So uh, the Death Collection or the Unseen University Collection. They don't have numbers that I can see, but they do have tiny little icons and I just I adore them. And now I'm very tempted to get like the entire collection for the Discord series in this hardback cover, but we are not that rich. They're so beautiful. <laughs> Knowing my luck, I would start collecting them, buying them one at a time, and then by the time I got to like number 40, they would change the designs and I would never have a full collection. That tends to be how my life works. And then I also grabbed The Test by Sylvain Newell. Um, this is a very short novella. It's in English and it's about the English citizenship test and some stuff's gonna happen. I don't know much about it. I just know that it was one of my 2020 2019 releases to read in 2020 picks, so this shouldn't take very long. I think I can squeeze this into my January TBR. I'm so excited about reading it because apparently it's very emotional and it fits in with my learning to write short stories, short storiness. And then if you know anything about me at all, it's that I should not be allowed to roam unaccompanied in libraries. So once I picked those up, I was like, all right, let's have a look and see what they've got. They've um, done this big restructure, so the young adult section is next to the door when you walk in. So. I finally picked up The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. Obviously this is a very well-known yeah, YA fantasy story on booktube and I have never read it and I wanted to know if it was worth the hype. So this is about a woman who is, or, or a teenager I guess, who is half, or she's human and her siblings are half a fae and the fae prince kidnaps all of them and takes them to live in the fae world so she has to learn how to get along. And then the other YA book I picked up was Tell Me How You Really Feel by Amina May Safi. This is a female to female enemies, female on female enemies to lovers romance. It's about a young woman who is furious that this cheerleader asked her out as on a date as a dare and didn't know that anyone knew she was gay and the cheerleader thought that it went so badly when she asked her out that <laughs> she's never asked out anyone else ever again. So perfection. And um, yeah, the, the girl who was furious, she is making a film and the only person who can be the lead role is this cheerleader who she obviously really hurt the feelings of. So they gonna get together. Just getting some contemporary romance in my third TBR. And then I went to the adult fantasy section and I was able to find there as part again of my getting better at reading and writing short stories, Neil Gaiman's collection, Trigger Warning. This is a collection of short stories uh, from Neil Gaiman himself, which obviously I'm trying to read all of Terry Pratchett's work, so I may as well get some Neil Gaiman in there. Um, and like I said, I wanted to read more short stories. I don't know anything about this except that it's by Neil Gaiman, and I love Neil Gaiman, and I've read pretty much all of his adult fiction, adult fantasy fiction, and should really read more of his adult, of his YA as well. So. The final book that I picked up while I was in the library is doo -doo -doo -doo, Sebastian de Castell's A Trace Blade. This is about a great coat who worked for the king and restored justice and their organization and their royal line in general is in complete shambles and nobody trusts the great coats anymore. But this dude is the last of his line and he's gonna have to go on an adventure to, I don't know, uphold the honor of the great coats. I didn't wanna know anything more than that. I have heard that Sebastian de Castell's writing is very poetic and rhythmic and after reading Diana Setterfield's work last month, which was the, not the 13th tale, the other one, Once Upon a River, which I, Freaking adored. I adored reading that book. I could have literally read that book all day. Apparently I have a thing for adult literacy, liter literical, literical, no, adult literature. 
I don't know where I was going with that one. I want to read this author. That's all. That's all I have to say. <laughs> going to the library genuinely fills me with so much energy and excitement. So apparently I'm very hyper. So these are the books I picked up at the library. And it's so heavy. I don't want to drop it because, like I said, my partner is asleep, so that would be a rude awakening. Um, but yes, I have been so impressed by the number of English new releases and really good old releases that the library has. Like, I don't know what I was expecting, but in the middle of the nowhere in Sweden, I was expecting, like, no releases. And I've been really lucky <laughs> that all of the books I want to read are already in the library or on Kindle Unlimited, so... I am in a reading, what's the opposite of a reading slump? A reading fire. I am on a reading fire. I feel like you shouldn't call anything to do with books fire. <laughs> reading streak? No. A reading... Anyway, that's where I'm at. Those are the books I got in the library. I am so excited to be reading. Let me know if you've read any of them down in the comments down below. And uh, I will see you guys soon. <laughs> Bye.